ask black men why do you have so much energy for black females but you don't have energy for anyone else guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Zogi and I'm a Gemini which is why this channel is called Zogi the Gemini 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 now in today's topic we are going to be discussing something that I feel like people are going to be tussling mm, I feel like some people will be in their feelings but given light of recent situations I definitely think it's something for me to discuss before we get into the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and and i'm trying to grow my instagram right so i need you guys help to follow me on instagram pretty please my instagram is all the gemini it's gonna be down here be like a few seconds to go and follow me on instagram right cool right okay let's get into the video i was recently watching sophia g's video basically where she was reacting to men black men saying that black women need to submit or be submissive or else and this is not a topic i really wanted to discuss for a long time i've put it off um but given light of recent situations i think it's time for us to finally discuss it so in the last couple of weeks yeah a few of my videos have done decently well one of them in particular which is the one where i was basically saying i'm done with dating that garnered a lot of men saying oh well the reason why this is happening to you is because you're like this or the reason why this is happening to you basically just going out of their way to discredit what i'm saying to literally gaslight me to believe that every single thing i am saying is all in my head or i'm deserving of such treatment because i'm this way or that way i want to ask black men yeah some black men not all why do you have so much energy for black females but you don't have energy for anyone else you run to the front of the crowd to tell black females when they're doing something wrong but when black females are being hurt or when black females need protection or when we need someone to be in our corner and back off you're mute you don't have nothing to say you're quick to scowl us 100 percent but to actually support us or uplift us like even if you don't uplift us support us we support you do you get what i mean we support you if anything was to go wrong we will be in your corner but anytime something happens to us a number of you guys don't have nothing to say if anything some i would say this is a, a very small number will go out of their way to even justify why that black girl was deserving of such treatment i made a video on tiktok and i was saying that growing up in the uk yeah the people that got onto me the most the people that bullied the most were black males and and i also said in that tiktok especially if you look like their mum if you remind them of their sister it's almost like they hate you even more so i'm like what kind of self-hatred are you projecting onto me going back to the video while i was discussing my dating experience i basically said i'm done with dating yeah I received so many comments from a black male saying can't you see your masculine energy is too much that's why they will not take you serious <clears throat> okay cool yeah cool but what I find crazy and let me know if if I'm onto something here let me know let me know let me know if I'm not onto something and let me know if I am onto something so you said that I'm displaying too much masculine energy because I'm loud, one, yeah? I'm outspoken and apparently I'm also coming across violent, yeah? Loud, outspoken and violent. What I find so weird is that if we were to take that three things and put it on another race, all things that are being deemed as negative quickly become something like, oh, she feisty she sassy pardon pardon the action can be or or she's just very passionate i've heard people tell me oh no she's just really passionate but when it comes to me i'm violent but to her 
No, no shade on Becky. Love you, Fifth. But she's passionate. She's feisty. She's faffy. Now you see, that's why I will never let some black men's opinion affect me because you're telling me because I'm outspoken, I'm loud and I say my truth, I'm very masculine, my masculine energy is too much, that's why I can't keep a man. But that same trait, let it be another race, you call that feisty, sassy, which are positive in some ways and even more than just being positive and showing a good reflection of a character like oh no she's just a passionate person those features of being feisty sassy passionate a number of men find it sexy so when they use that word oh she's feisty it's always more time is in a sexual manner so you're telling me the same traits yeah we're, we're dealing with the same things loud outspoken yeah and saying your truth for me is violent for me that's why i can't keep a man it's too masculine but for another person it's sassy it's passionate it's feisty which in some ways are deemed as sexy qualities and sexy qualities for me most time fall under femininity now can you see why i can't take you serious can you see the same qualities or traits that you are literally trying to degrade me for, let it be on another colour, all of a sudden is actually somewhat the epitome of femininity because sexiness, attractiveness, that's a high ranking on femininity. So can you see that the same qualities, when it's on a certain race, it's seen as masculine, it's seen as negative, it's seen as what a woman should not have and how a woman should not conduct herself and how a woman should not behave. But let that same quality be on a, a different race, it now becomes the epitome of femininity. Now, you see why I'm, I'm finding it hard to really take some people serious. You see why I'm finding it hard to actually take what you're saying on board. When black women talk about what our expectations are, like let a black woman go on a talk show and say, you know, this is what I expect, this is what I bring. You see so many black men crying in the comments like, how dare you ask? What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? You go digger, you go digger. Oh, you're a hoe, just say you want to show Look at that. Fifth is asking for the bare minimum. Yeah? Fifth is not asking for too much. But you guys are now crying and saying no, she should not have such expectation. She should not want certain things all because you feel like she's not deserving of it. And what I find crazy is that I've been in a situation and I've seen situations where a black female will say, do you know what, I want so and so and so. Let a black female say that she wants a financially stable man. The guy will cry. The guy will shed tears. Let a black female say, oh, I want a guy that's financially stable. I'm financially stable, so I want a guy that's financially stable. They will have... I feel like some men, some black men, will find so many reasons as to why she's not deserving of that. But let it be another race. And what's even, what is even hard to comprehend for me, yeah? I've also seen situations where a black female will say, okay, so this is what my expectations are. Cool. She gets the backlash. She gets the, oh, you're gold. Da, 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 da. Let another girl say it. Not only, I, you know, I feel like I will prefer if they were just radio silent. I would prefer if they had nothing to say. I've seen situations where these same black men that had the energy for the black females, they do not even question. They do not even question the deservingness of those requirements for those other girls. Does that make sense? Let me, let, let me make sure that I'm actually saying it properly. So when other races say, this is what I require from a guy, not only do they not keep silent, they're almost like, well, yeah, of course you are. I, I, you don't think that's a problem? You don't think it's a problem that 
when it comes to from a, a certain female a, a black female you feel that she's unworthy of it or you feel like oh she's disgracing herself or you feel like oh that's why black girls that's why black men don't go for black girls because black male girls are always demanding da, 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 da. but let it be another race you do not even question it because it's almost like you see them as deserving of those particular things and for me it's just i don't even know how it, it, it's so saddening it's actually so sad to think like that and that's why i don't try and think about it too deep and that's why i don't really do content around it because the more you deep into it in terms of how certain black males treat black females it's crazy like some black males have a whole social media presence basically belittling black females they're on tiktok all day telling black females oh this is what you need to do to secure a man this is what you need to do to keep black men interested but you don't have that energy for anyone else and final thing i want to say yeah is i feel like for a long time black males have been desired desired by all other races we know that we know all most races actually i don't know i'll say but like a, a good amount of races are attracted to black males and i feel like for black females we have somewhat been conditioned to believe that our only options are black males let me know let me know whether you have felt the same so anytime i even get um attention from another race i'm just like it's so weird to me my soul fall into this idea of another race can actually find me attractive so used to other races desiring black men but not other races desiring us i've been in a situation yeah and this is what really set in stone that some black males generally it's, it's weird because it's like they go out of their way to say they don't want black females yeah but at the same time when a black female is with another race they go out of their way to make that female feel like she's a sellout let me give you an example i've been in situations where let's say is a, is a black male yeah and he has a friend that have multiple partners and most of them are from a particular race what i find crazy is that when he's referring to his um boys or his friends partners he's really good at saying oh you know sarah yeah sarah was really good at party she was so nice oh molly no molly was a sweetheart she was really good at cooking da, 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 da. able to recall what was really interesting about that partner yeah but i've been in situations where let it be a black female that has a white partner they're gonna be like oh yeah rob the white guy and let that female have been in multiple interracial relationships they're going to be like oh yeah the girl that just dates white guys or if they're referring to a partner they'll be like oh yeah the white guy but why is it that when certain black males are referring to their boys partners yeah let's say their boys only girls that were white girls they're able to recall oh this girl this girl this girl oh molly was this sarah was this oh i didn't like leanne da, 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 da. but when it comes to a black female that's going out with other races whether asian or whether caucasian they just want to boil down to the whole relation just to the color of his skin almost to be it's almost like it's foreign to them that for a black female to be with other races why why is it that when it comes to the black females you are recalling your only recollection of her partner is that he's white even though he has so many good qualities even though he's literally so nice one of the nicest and coolest guys you've come across but you're just gonna boil him down to just a white guy but for your for your guys your boys all his all his exes you can remember one good or one bad trait about them and i just i don't know whether this is normal but i just find it weird that it's almost for the black females they feel like being with other races is foreign to them it's like almost like you shouldn't do it now people can take this video however you want to take it but i know for sure i've said my truth i just find it weird how some black males just have so much hatred 
for black females and I will never understand why and no one can tell me that it's just my head it doesn't happen I've seen so many situations where black men certain black men mm, have proven that they don't have the backs they don't have they're not they're not true allies of black females and I, I want to put emphasis on some not all just wanted to put this video out there because it's something that i'm noticing more and more and it's something that i said to myself in as much as i don't really want to talk about it it needs to be spoken about anyways i'm gonna end this video here if you agree or disagree with me that fine let me know in the comment sections let me know if you have any experiences of anything that i've said in this video thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and remember remember follow me on instagram and i'll see you later most likely tomorrow but if not i'll see you later bye